Once again here. Um, now first, uh, who are you, young lady? I'm Jenny. You're still Jenny. on the job. I'm You're glad. St- I'm still Jenny. That's good to hear. And I'm Ken. Ken Carroll, to be uh, more precise. Now, Jenny, what lesson, uh, what level are we looking at here today? Newbie. Good. One of our good. most popular levels. I think most of our listeners will have, will have uh, picked up on the fact that for me, I'm I'm a newbie guy. You know, <laughs> I, I'm here for the newbie. When we hear you, we know the level. It's newbie and it's elementary. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, what is the topic? Now, uh, give us some context, please, Jenny. What's the topic? Using credit card oh, or using any card. Now, super, mm. super, super what? Super practical. Just one of the... Facts in life, you have to. That's deal right. With. Mm. Using credit cards now um, uh, to give uh, to give us a clue. How do you say this word, credit card? 信用卡. Okay. 信用卡. Okay. Now, in fact, only the ka. Uh, bit of that is, mm. is is something that we'll we'll, we'll drill down in today. But we're talking about car, yes. and car is a transliteration of the word card. Yes, in fact, isn't that easy? It it is quite easy, in fact. And the tone is the third tone, right? That's correct. So that that's it. So car. Now, uh, so listen out for that sound car in our dialogue, and after that, we'll come back and we'll break it down for you. 您好，现金。还是刷卡。刷卡。请签字。好的。Second time. 您好。现金还是刷卡。刷卡。请签字。好的。Third time. 您好。现金还是刷卡。刷卡。Hey guys, it's Michael here at Chinese Pod, and we want to say thank you to all of our faithful subscribers. If you're not registered yet, head over to ChinesePod.com now and get 20% off. We got promo codes, promo codes, promo codes, Promo code get twenty at checkout to get twenty percent off your first year. Okay, now um, I believe a rough translation would. Oh, I love this. Part. I know you do. So. Let's begin now. Yeah. 您好，现金还是刷卡？ Hi. Yeah. Did you want to use cash or credit card? 您好,现金还是刷卡? Hello, are you using uh, cash or a credit card? 您好,现金还是刷卡? 刷卡? I'll use a credit card. 刷卡? Credit card. 刷卡? 请签字 Please sign 请签字 Please sign your name 请签字 好的 OK 好的 All right 好的 now, there are some interesting things here. Um, we could drill down into a moment. One thing I do want to draw your attention to in case you are a little bit um, confused to some mm. extent. Now, when the question is, you know, are you, are you going to use a credit card or cash? We actually use a verb, yes. right? You don't actually use the noun uh. credit card. We, we use the verb. Uh, and that verb is... Shua. Shua. Okay, so shua ka. In case you were confused, uh, it means it's the verb to use a credit yes. card. Now we'll get back to that in a second, mm-hmm. but I, 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 I thought that might have been slightly confusing. All right, now let's take it from the top then, um, piece by piece. So obviously we had ni hao, mm. which and is, we're using ning. 
Okay. In the dialogue, because it's taking place between probably a、uh, salesperson, yes, a waiter, and、uh, to express. Politeness and、okay. respect. Okay. So is that common at this in this kind of context in a、yes. bank or in a restaurant or something? Yes. In the、ni? service sector, they、okay. normally use ni. Good.、Mm. Good. So let's hear that again, please. Ni. Ni. Good. Ni. So that's、mm. the second tone. Ni.、Mm. Okay. Now the question is:、uh, Are you going to use cash or a credit card? Let's listen to that sentence. 现金还是刷卡 Now this is an interesting way to ask the question、um, because the first part is xian jin and that literally means cash, but literally ready cash sort of ready money.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the word xian right xian 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 the fourth、mm. tone means、uh, now, now right now present yeah. 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 And、uh, jin, the first tone means gold. Gold. So one way to remember that is, you know,、uh, ready gold. Gold、mm. that's right here, and it basically、yes. means. And of course, that's cash. That's cash, right? Now, or how do you say the verb or, or the, the the word here? Or you're asking the question. Or. 还是，还是。Now that is all, and then、uh, credit card. 刷卡。刷卡 Now let's look at、uh, these pieces again. Now, so 刷卡 that's first and third tones, correct? That's right. First tone 刷 and、uh, and then for third tone 卡,卡刷卡刷卡、uh, Now the whole sentence again. Could we listen to the sentence again? 现金还是刷卡 Now, so 现金 meaning are you a cash?、Mm. Is it cash? 还是 meaning、uh, or or 还是还是啊、uh, 刷卡 and that is to use、uh, a card to use the card yeah not limited to credit card all sorts of uh, uh, sort of financial cards okay、mm. now this 刷 is a verb right and it、yeah. means like to swipe or to to, to、mm, that's true yeah it's it's the same for brushing your teeth you use the yes, same the、yes. same verb、uh. so how do you say brush your teeth. 刷牙 Okay, so it's the same 刷、uh, So I mean, it literally refers to the movement of the card across the yeah, the, yeah the and it's very commonly used. We say 刷卡 all the yeah, time to、yeah. mean to indicate、uh, using, using a、friend. card. Yeah, yeah, so there's a verb there. All right, so maybe we could just listen to that sentence again one more time. 现金还是刷卡 Good. Now to answer that, you can as 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 we've looked at before. Quite often in Chinese, you use the verb in the question. So the answer here was 刷卡刷卡 Now no pronoun here. It's just a verb. 刷卡、mm. literally meaning to to swipe the card,、yes. and that means I'll it, it implies I'll use a credit card.、Yeah. 刷卡 Now and then of course the waiter will ask. 请签字，请签字。Now the word 请 are、uh, meaning please, please, and that's used all the time. Of course, it's very common. We we've had it before, and and then after that was 签字，签字。So that means、uh, to sign to your sign, name. To、yeah. sign your name. To put your signature onto、mm. something, uh, and uh, so let's look at those two. Qian,、oh, sorry, my voice is not the best today. Qian zi, and、uh, which, tell us about this word. Qian,、uh, it means to sign. To sign.、Mm. Okay, and that's only used in that context. Yeah. Okay.、Uh, it can be paired with other words, but mostly it's used、okay. to mean to to sign your name. That's fine for this level.、Mm. And the word zi. Zi means words, characters. Words or right, Chinese right. characters, right? So again, please sign your name. 请签字，请签字 Now again, this sentence can be used in so many ways. So so practice the music of that.、Uh, mm. 请签字啊、uh, You can use it in so many ways. And then, of course,、uh, to to show agreement, you say. 好的，好的 That means fine. I'll do it. All right, now let's listen to that dialogue again. I think three times would be useful. 您好，现金还是刷卡？刷卡，请签字。好的。Second time. 您好
，现金还是刷卡？刷卡，请签字。好的。Third time， 您好，现金还是刷卡？刷卡，请签字。好的。So you want to learn traditional or simplified characters?、Mm, can I just learn to speak Chinese? I really don't want to write or read. It's too much for me. Are you one of the learners that told us early on that you just want to speak and listen to Chinese, and you think Chinese characters are way too complicated? Then I really think you should check out our new introduction into how to read and write Chinese characters. It focuses on simple characters that you encounter in a Chinese language environment. Every day, in eleven entertaining episodes, we set out to convince you that Chinese characters are actually quite easy, and we hope that you will soon share our excitement. Visit 88 characters on www.chinesepod.com/forward/slash88 and give it a try, or search for the first episodes on the Chinese Pod channel on YouTube. It's as simplified as that. Okay, now let's just quickly review the key words. So the word for cash, 现金，现金，现金 Good. Now the word or, as in giving someone choice, 还是，还是，还是 Good. The verb to use a credit card, 刷卡，刷卡。刷卡 Great. Um, signature. 签字，签字 And that's also a verb to to、mm. sign your name. Well, great. That's a lot clearer now. Um, hope that those mnemonics will help you remember about. Shua ka is the same shua as to brush your teeth.、Yes. It's like brushing the card, swiping the card through the machine.、Mm. It's first. I think it has a, a sort of onomatopoeic effect, doesn't it? What does that mean? It means when a word, when it sounds like what it is. Ah, you shua, can probably figure out from the sound. I think、right? so. Shua、yeah. sounds like something moving quickly. Yeah. Ah,、uh, with a little、shoo. friction there. Shoo, exactly. Ah,、uh, so shua ka meaning to, literally to to run the card through through the machine. Oh, great! Makes me want to. Spent now. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. Well, I hope that was、uh, helpful. You can find a lot more of this kind of stuff, of course, on ChinesePod.com. Go there, take a look at the transcripts, the exercises, and so on. But that is all we've got time for today. And so we'll have to come back again and see you tomorrow. We'll be back But, tomorrow. Indeed. But for now, it's time for us to say goodbye. As usual, Chinese Pod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number zero one nine one. So just go to www.chinesepod.com/zero one nine one, and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again. www.chinesepod.com/slash zero one nine one.